Hi guys, this is Michelle from my Everyday Wife Life and um, this is Transformation Thursday. This is my second week doing this, although I've been doing a um, clean eating update um, since the beginning of January. This would be like um, week seven that I've been doing clean eating. Uh, I mean for my YouTube channel. I've been doing clean eating for years. But anyway, I have joined, um, it's my second week that I have joined with uh, Rhonda and Melody. Rhonda from um, Spanky Cola and Melody from Transforming Melody. Rhonda is doing Herbal Life and Melody is doing Weight Watchers. And there's two other people that have joined us, Catching Up with Karen and um, Weight Watchers with Heather. And I'll put the links to their channels below. So yeah, so um, I procrastinated like I normally do with everything. And I just wanted to wait until this morning so I could weigh myself because I wanted to see some kind of weight loss. So I waited this morning to um, weigh myself and yeah, that didn't go well. Anyway, I'll just get right on say it instead of waiting until the end of the video. I, I gained a half a pound. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not happy with that. And actually, at the end of the at the end of this video, I will show you my um my chart from my fitness pal. I mean, since I started in January, it's like this. It's like crazy. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I thought that this time go around, that um, since I got my thyroid all in order and everything like that, that um, I know my thyroid hormones all in order and I have energy now and everything like that that it would go a little more smoothly. Yeah, still up and down and up and down. It's crazy. And I have to be nearly perfect on certain things, such as my sodium and whatnot for anything to happen. So I think I went all the way up to 100 and, or two, 144. Yeah, right. I wish. 244 and uh, then back down and back up. And now I'm at 242. I was at 241.5 last week, so whatever, half a pound up, not that big of a deal. So let me take a sip of water. Excuse me. Um, so a couple of things that went wrong this week. Um, first, like the reason I, one of the other reasons I'm not video uploading this video until late is three o'clock now. I'm not sure what time this video will get up. Um, and I've got to run to the chiropractor soon. Yeah, ADD. Yes, my ADD is off the wall, guys. I am all over the place. I don't know if you've noticed that in my last couple of videos, but whatever. So last night, or the, you know, lately my husband has been um, hugging the uh, TV. <laughs> so he goes to bed pretty early, like 8.30, 9.30 at the latest. So after he goes to bed, I like to watch TV by myself because pretty much not watching TV during the day. Um, unless I'm watching it, uh, putting YouTube on the TV and doing the dishes while I uh, do that. So I ended up falling asleep and that happened twice this week. And because of that, I ended up forgetting to take my, um, nighttime thyroid medicine and that made me tired. And so the bottom fell out a couple of times this week. Uh, today I'm pretty tired. I feel better now. I took a shower and my hair is a mess though. I... Maybe I'll get a haircut when I go out today. Um, so I'm not going to do that again. And then a couple times, I don't know if it was this week, but in the last couple of weeks, I've I've missed my, um, I take supplements in the middle of the day. I take thyroid medicine in the morning, thyroid medicine in the afternoon. And I take my supplements in the, around lunchtime. And I've forgotten to take that because I got busy and I'm like, well, like if I was out, I didn't bring them with me, which I need to always bring my supplements with me just in case I'm out. And because um, I don't know, consistency is so important. It seems like when I take my thyroid and my supplements consistently, then that really helps me with energy and helps me lose weight. Well, I don't know if it helped me lose weight, but I know it helps me with energy. So I was a little draggy today, but I did end up going for a walk this morning. So, um... The other thing that was bogging me down was chocolate. Yeah, I have addiction to chocolate. I admit it. So, um, I went to Ross like a week ago, and they had this shoe. I should probably show it to you, but I'm not getting off the computer to show you. But this humongous bag of Garajali milk chocolate with the caramel in the center. 
And seriously, it was really cheap because I usually buy the small bag at Publix and it was, they're like three fifty, dollars So it was a huge bag for $9 and that. So I told myself I was going to eat one of those a day, blah, blah, blah. You know, last week I told you a problem with Hershey Kisses. Yeah. No. Nope. So um, that didn't work out. I was eating way too many and I really should be eating the dark chocolate. It seems like the more chocolate I eat, the more chocolate I crave. And for the white chocolate, if I eat the dark chocolate, um, and I've only been able to eat the 60%, I don't really like the 70% co coca, co however you say that, um, the dark chocolate. Um, my husband eats the 60% chips. So I decided, I believe this was Tuesday, I gave the bag to my husband and I said, you need to hide these and um, where I can't find them. <laughs> Um, I have in the past looked for them and found them, but I won't do that. I even thought of um, going ahead and taking them out of the house. Probably that's the best thing. Bringing them to my mother and, um, yeah, letting my mother have them. She's in a nursing home. She loves chocolate. This is a lady who never likes sweets in her life, and all of a sudden she has Alzheimer's and she loves chocolate. So, I mean, why not give her to her? <laughs> it ain't going to matter now. Anyway, that's beside the point. I was going to have my husband just give me one piece of chocolate in the evening. Yeah, I didn't even eat that yesterday at all. So, And I had a couple cup of his chocolate chips today. So those are the couple of fails. What's working for me is exercising walking. That is really going good. So since last Thursday on Friday, I went to the gym. Um, although on Saturday, I didn't walk. But we went to Ikea, and I, I personally don't count that as a walk. I know some people count that as a walk, but I'm pretty much don't have a problem with moving every day now. I've been pretty good for a year about not sitting on the couch, and I am moving and running errands and cleaning house and all that kind of stuff, so I don't really have a problem with that. But that being said, unless you want to count the walk at Ikea, on Saturday, and if you want to watch that video, I'll put the link to that one above, Day in the Life video, that um, sad, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, I didn't do any kind of exercise. Sunday, uh, we were working on my husband's uh, office, crap, uh, man cave, whatever you want to call it, so we were moving stuff around and doing that. And Monday came around and my house was a mess. So I'm like, I'm not going to go to the gym today. I'm just going to stay home. And yeah, and I got a headache and um, I end up not really not doing a whole lot of anything. Cleaning up a little bit, took a nap on the couch. I was having a tired day again. That might have been the day I fell asleep on the couch also. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, I need to keep myself in the butt. I did kick myself in the butt on Tuesday and then I fell asleep again on the couch last night and I wasn't drinking enough water for I think that was on the weekend I really wasn't drinking enough water so um yeah so all those factors I'm sure had played into my weight gain so when we went to um I have to be really, I think I mentioned this last video I have to be really careful of my sodium if I have too much sodium I will gain weight and then I can't take it off for a couple of days. And in that couple of days before that weight comes back off, I haven't lost anything either, you know, so it's preventing me from losing weight. And um, Melody said that um, she's not really having a problem with sodium because I was mentioning that um, that I found some healthy choice, that I'm making healthy choices when I eat out low calorie um low, you know, healthy, low calorie choices. But when you eat out, the sodium is just horrid. So on Saturday, I had a, um, now I'm going to recommend you, you try this if you have to eat out, but just keep that in mind. Any kind of food that you eat out or also processed food, it has a ton of sodium. And I had the Chick-fil-A um, 12 count grilled chicken new it's new i think they had grilled chicken before but this is better tasting it's really good the 12 count chicken nuggets um grilled chicken nuggets and then the superfood side and um i want to say it was under 300 calories for those two things and i had i did have a lemonade that was a little treat 
But when I asked for the lemonade, I asked them to put half water, half lemonade in it. And I never ended up finishing the whole thing, which I don't usually. So, um, so that was really good. But as soon as I had that the next day, yeah, the, my, my weight went up because of the sodium in that. I'm like, where's the sodium in? I guess in the chicken, they just salt the crap out of that stuff. I mean, chicken has salt in it naturally. Just plain boneless, skinless chicken breast um, will have that. And I buy the green wise from Publix, but it just, it has some sodium in it naturally, I guess. I don't know. I know when I put it in my fitness pal, it comes up that um, it has some sodium into it. And if you're buying meat from Publix, I heard that they soak that stuff in the salt water solution. So yeah, that I don't like to buy my meat from from Walmart because of that. Um, anyway, so because I was talking to Melody about that, I realized uh, about the sodium. She says she's not having trouble when she eats out with her sodium. Um, she's sure that it's probably sodium content, but it's not preventing her from losing weight consistently. So when I eat out, I need to make sure I drink a ton of water afterwards just drink a ton of water and again I'm having trouble drinking water so this morning um I'm trying to drink a whole thing of water I want to I'm not trying I want to drink a whole bottle of water first thing in the morning but you know I, I just don't feel like drinking the water first thing in the morning so wh what I did this morning was um I put a little bit of cranberry juice in it, like a quarter cup in a whole bottle of water. So that's not that much. It's probably 35, I th think I did the calculation, it was 35 calories. So then I was able to drink the whole thing down before I went for my walk today and then drink another bottle of water on my walk. So uh, that's, I'm um, fixing that problem with that. So um, where did I lead off? So Monday didn't walk. So Tuesday I walked. And Wednesday, I went to the gym, and um, but then, yeah, I was super tired, and no, Wednesday, was that yesterday? Yeah, that was, t oh, Tuesday, I did a super clean of the house, and that, that worked out really, really good, because I felt overwhelmed. Um, like I said, I took Monday off to clean, but I didn't end up cleaning, and I did it on Tuesday but then Wednesday I went to the gym and the house got messed up again and um today's Thursday yeah I was so tired that I didn't clean up the um kitchen the house didn't get messed up it's just the kitchen but it seems like when the kitchen's messed up the whole house is messed up so um I still haven't done that yet I need to do that today um I don't know where I am going with this guys just that I'm still in trying to work on a routine I think I have decided that I will go to the gym twice a week, like Monday and Thursday. And then the following week, I will only go on Wednesday because it's just too much for me to go twice a week, every week. And then I, I will walk. And my walking is better. I actually walked um, three miles today. Three miles, an hour, and three miles. Well, obviously. <laughs> well, not obviously. It was, yeah, so I walked an hour and it ended up being three miles. And that was my goal for the month to get up to three miles an hour. So I finally did that today. First time I was doing like two miles an hour or 2.5 miles an hour. I wasn't walking fast enough. I've been using my phone and playing really fast music. I was listening to Jewel today and Adele and fast paced music. And, and another thing, another tip um, I wanted to share with you. Well, a tip I wanted to share with you is I realized if I move my arms, you know, when you walk, you move your arms. So um, if I move my arms really fast, it made me walk faster for some reason. So I was doing that to pick up the pace and walking to the music. And um, previously, I was um, really liking just not having any music. I just wanted to, to clear my head and think about what I needed to do for the day. And I didn't want the uh, music blaring and um and everything like that you know because when you're at home you got music blaring you got the tv going this that and the other thing and sometimes you just need silence just to think but that being said that i did start listening to music 
But what I have been doing is after I finished my walk, I've been taking the um, golf cart back to the park and there's like this little hill that you walk up and there's a bench and I've been taking my, um, my praying heart book. Um, it's, uh, it does a Bible verse, um, a day and then you journal in there and I've been doing that and, um, sitting there quietly and peacefully. And, um, sometimes I'll put on some, you know, what do you call it? Calming meditation music while I'm up there. So I've been, I've been liking that. Um, not been doing that every day or not even every time I walk, but I've been trying to do that. So, um, those things are working. So I got a little list here. What did I want to say? Um, so <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, just trying to think of all the things I wanted to tell you. I remembered everything I wanted to say when I was on my walk, but I'm totally forgetting now. I wrote little notes, but I don't know, um, what they mean. <laughs> So, um, okay, one of the things I, I, I'm still trying to work on is to eat often, and I, I am doing better on that, and I had my phone set every three hours at one time, but um, for some reason the alarms are not working, so I need to, to fix that. Then um, I talked about last week about how if I am doing 1,600 calories is divide up the calories so that you have an even amount of calories all day, you know, or... A, a set around a set amount that you're going to eat for each meal so you have in your head oh I can't eat 500 calories for for breakfast I will have none left for the rest of the day so mine was 300 for breakfast 200 for a snack 400 for lunch 200 for a snack and then 500 for dinner which sometimes is not enough so I might need you know do 100 for the snacks and pull from there but um what I wanted to say is that um, that is, I think that's probably really important for you to have um, an even amount of calories throughout the day and so you know several times during the day. That um, think about how a diabetic um, eats. They eat often and they need to have uh, breakfast snack, lunch snack, dinner snack in order to keep their sugar levels. Um, level and and your sugar levels when it spikes up and down like that that's when um you end up gaining weight that's my theory i don't know <laughs> i i think i don't remember where i got that idea from i think different from different stuff i've read so then i thought well really we should all eat like a diabetic like that so that your sugar levels are like this and i mentioned this to a friend who happens we were talking and i didn't realize she was diabetic and she says well, no, you don't need to eat like that because most people don't have a sugar level problem. It's just diabetic, so you don't need to spread your, you know, food out during the day to keep your sugar levels even because you don't have a sugar level problem. Well, I don't know if I exactly agree with that. Now, you don't you don't have a too high of a sugar level problem if you're not a diabetic. And but I would say it, you are going to have sugar levels that go up and down during the day. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it doesn't work like that, only if you're a diabetic. Um, again, I believe I got that from the clean eating book um, that I, I've been talking about. I still have not bought that book. I need to buy that book so I can show you guys. That um, Tosca Reno Eat Clean Diet book. And I believe she talks about that in there and how you need to, to have your um, sugar levels even keel all day long so you're not spiking up and down and your body's going, what the crap are you doing? Yeah, and it doesn't know what to do and um, it struggles to figure out how to, how do you want to say, metabolize your body. Yeah, so you know, that also brings up your metabolism. You know, you don't want it low and then high and low. And high. You want, you know, a good metabolism throughout the day. I don't know. Does that even make sense, y'all? I don't, you know. Again, um, I know what I'm talking about in my head, but when I try to explain it to people, I feel like it, it doesn't come out wrong. I mean, it doesn't. It comes out that it comes out wrong. So, I don't know. Um, that's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. So, <laughs> I'm still working on that. I don't always eat all three meals and three snacks or two snacks a day. 
Um, oh, here's the other thing I wanted to talk about. I've heard some, I think I heard Rhonda say this. Rhonda, I'm sorry if I'm calling you out, but I'm not really calling you out because you mentioned it in your video. She said she was going to try not to eat after, I forget if she said six or seven, but I've heard this theory a lot that, oh, I'm not going to eat after seven o'clock. Well, this, again, this is my opinion, but I've done some research on certain things and I have, I believe I had a doctor told me that that was bull, that that's, you don't have to not eat after seven. The reason that people say that don't eat after seven o'clock is because most likely if you eat after seven o'clock, you're going to eat more calories than you were, than you're supposed to for the day. If you're limit, if you're limiting yourself to 16 or 1800 calories, most likely you've already ate them by seven o'clock. So if you eat after seven o'clock, you're going to eat more calories. Um, for me, typically me and my husband eat late. We, I don't know. I've tried to eat early and it just hasn't, haven't worked. This is a long time thing. We've eaten late. There's always been for years and years and years. And I've tried to change that habit. I even wrote a little little blog on it. I don't even use my blog anymore. But if you want to read that blog, you can... I'll put the link to that below, below and how I tried to change that habit and it didn't work. Um, yeah, so, you know, I don't know, there was always, my son always had like football and so we wouldn't get home till like 6.30, 7.30 from practice and then we had to eat and then do homework, you know, so dinners were always late and right now my husband, he does not ever get home. I say in that, but he's home right now. He just got home early. This is not typical. He just happened to take a few hours off because it was such a nice day. He decided to come home. But normally he does not get home until 6.30, 7 o'clock. So we're not eating dinner until 7.30, sometimes 8 o'clock. And that's just how we are. But I'm eating extra calories. I'm saving those calories for dinner. And I'm still eating my 1,600 calories. So that's what I wanted to say about that. And I didn't, I wanted to say that, um, yeah. What else did I want to say? I wanted to say that, um, hmm. I don't remember. Oh, I wanted to say this. I wanted to say that I've been doing, um, even though I've had all those fails that I've been doing, um, pretty good, I've been eating up a lot of the vegetables in the refrigerator and I'm happy with that. Um, I probably should cut back on my fruits. I bought a lot of fruits and I thought I bought too many and they were going to spoil. And I don't know, maybe that's why I ate too many. So I really need to cut back that. But next month, my goal is veggies, you know, eat your veggies. So I want to put those in the forefront. I have been eating more and we did eat a lot of fresh, um, veggies, um, and more of them. Um, so, you know, and this has happened before that the more, healthy you eat the more health the more healthy foods you eat the more healthy foods you crave and uh there goes my alarm telling me to take my pill my thyroid pill i already did but anyway and the more um the more sugar foods the more junk food you eat the more junk food you're going to crave and that has been shown since the chocolate yeah i was eating chocolate and the more chocolate i ate the more chocolate i wanted and yeah that was a huge mistake so um uh, yeah, so I'm pretty proud of my walking and my eating. It's just a few, you know, I need to get my sleep habits down, make sure I take my pills and, um, no more chocolate. So I'm pretty, um, you know, uh, again, I, I gained a half a pound. It's not tragic. I mean, what did I lose? Three pounds last week? I don't even remember. I think that's what, I think I lost two or three pounds last week. Well, I didn't lose three pounds last week. I know it was the three pounds from the last time I updated, which had been, actually, it only been 10 days. So three pounds in 10 days, that was pretty good. So um, I don't know why my weight is going up and down, but you know, I'm done trying to figure that out. It is what it is. And I can only just make little adjustments. And yes, I'm still weighing myself pretty much every day just because of those little things. You know, I'm like, oh crap, I didn't drink enough water today. That's probably why the scale is going up. So I'm still weighing myself, but I'm not letting it bog me down or anything like that. It's just keeping me, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's just keeping me on track, you know, by 
re having to reevaluate myself and stuff. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I hope you all are doing well. And, um, I, oh, if you want to follow me on um, Instagram, I'm still doing the MEDW walk. And nobody was following me. I'm the only one that's possible posting with the hashtag MEDW uh, walk and I will put the hashtag right here so you can see that and you can follow me on Instagram at my everyday wife life and um, Melody you need to get on Instagram and Rhonda you need to follow me on the do the hashtag thing I really um you can create your own hashtag for your Instagram if you want whatever your Instagram name is like um, you, I kind of like seeing you can go back and see all the pictures that I posted for my walk and all the pictures that I posted for my uh, water. Last month was um, M-E-D-W-L water. And I still occasionally post that. But it's kind of nice to see um, all the times that I posted my little walk. And instead of flipping through all of your, your whole Instagram pictures, you can see that at one glance when you click on the hashtag. It's, it's kind of nice. So create your own hashtag and um, so you can have... Um, a, an overview of all of, uh, certain goals that you're doing or certain certain things whatever you know it doesn't even have to be exercise or water or, or any of that stuff it could be decorating <laughs> I don't know it's just fun to do that little little hashtag thing so that's all I wanted to say and uh, I've already talked way too long I am trying to shorten these videos but I can't seem to do that and um, my ADD seems to be off the charts I'm not sure sure why that is um yeah I'm not really sure how to get a handle on it either so um but whatever it is what it is so that's it guys um that's all I have to say and uh enjoy your day